Okay, what we have here is a Dell <coughs> W5001 CHD uh, plasma flat screen. More likely, it's manufactured by Samsung. Uh, basically, we got no no screen. Uh, the power does appear to come on. We don't get a power light, but uh, we need to pull the back off of this. And there's a million uh, and one screws around the outside. So we're going to go ahead and pull all those screws off first. We've got to pull the um, the base it's sitting on the on the end. We're going to go ahead and pull this base off and see what's inside. More than likely something in the power supply. So let's get that back off and I'll be back. Okay, so we got the back off and looking at the power supply board um, there's a couple of capacitors that are actually pretty questionable right here uh, we've got two of them that are that are bubbled out and my granddaughter who's got a better eye than I did found another one up here that's bubbled out so we're going to go ahead and pull out this uh, power supply board here. There's uh, two connectors. There's a bunch of connectors up the top. One big one over here. The power, main power down here and a, a signal connector. Pull all those off, get all the screws off and we're going to pull that board out of the system and uh, replace those capacitors. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. and. We got these two bad parts here. We found out um, one of them is actually these two are both 2200 at 10 volts, I think. Yeah, 2200 at 10 volts. And this one over here is a 470 at 35 or 25 volts. Yep. So we didn't have, we have these two parts here, but we didn't have this one. We don't feel like waiting until tomorrow to go to Radio Shack. Cause we're, so we're going to hook 2000s in series. We have 2000 uh, UF capacitors at 16, so that will give us um, about a 500 UF. If you hook capacitors in series, just like resistors in parallel. I don't, re I don't recommend doing this for a permanent fix, but... My granddaughter's here tonight, and we just want to see if we can get this TV working. So we're going to give this a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll go to Radio Shack tomorrow and get the right one. So we're going to unsolder these right now, and then put it back together. Okay, I'm uh, soldering in the last part here. And as soon as I get this done, then we can take this board up. We found three bad capacitors, and we made a makeshift version of the one we didn't have the exact part for so uh, hopefully it's going to work let's see make sure the solder works right all right Alright, so we got the uh, power supply board remounted back in the, um, in the unit again. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a try now from the front. I'll move the camera over there. Alright, so we got this kind of stood up here. We're going to try the power, see what happens. Okay. Okay, we got the Dell logo. Does it look like it's working? Oh yeah, you can see it there. All right. It looks like it's looking searching for inputs now. All right. So now all we got to do is uh, hook it up to a signal. Whoa, that's pretty. 
So that was it. Three parts. Dollar fifty a piece. We're back in business. Cool. So that's it for fixing the Dell plasma screen.